every year as people start to dig their potatoes and as they pull them out of storage they'll often notice holes or brown discolorations as they peel them or or those types of injury and they wonder what's causing that problem and what they can do to fix things. And for, mo for the most part this damage is very cosmetic and more of an indication of a nuisance pest than a real serious problem and the pests themselves are long gone so there's really not much you can do about them at the time. However there's sometimes confusion about which pest causes which damage and that's what I want to take a few minutes to talk about today. It's mostly so you can blame the right culprit and take appropriate action if possible. The first one I want to talk about is wireworms which are the larvae of the click beetle. They target a whole range of different crops, preferring grass crops like cereals, but they definitely do obvious and sometimes aggressive damage in potatoes. The most obvious sign they have wireworms is the observation of entry holes in the, in the tuber. They're large bore, about three millimeters across and up to four centimeters deep. Those holes are usually pointed into the tuber rather than across the surface of the tuber. And sometimes you may get a bit of deformity in the tuber because of the damage, but not necessarily. You'll rarely find the wireworm at the scene of the crime. What you'll find is a hole that's been filled with hard brown wound tissue that the, as the potato tries to fix that, patch that hole. You, those are, you know, it's not a big deal, it's just, it's what it is that's there, but you won't find the critter itself. By comparison, the damage that you find from the tuber flea beetle is really inconspicuous, at least until you start to peel potatoes. Uh, as you're peeling, the potato will look a bit dirty, maybe have brown specks or thin lines at the outer surfaces under the skin. Uh, it'll take an extra swipe or two with a peeler to remove them and what you're seeing are the entry and exit holes in the shallow tunnels left by the larvae of the tuber flea beetle. They are small white thread like larvae which tunnel under the surface of the skin and then the tuber of course heals after they're gone leaving that brown tissue behind for you to deal with. The adult beetles are similar to other flea beetles in that they're small black beetles that tend to leap when disturbed. Their feeding on the tops gives a symptom called shot holing which is like bunch, punched a bunch of little holes in the leaves looking like they've shot it with a bunch of little tiny shotguns. This damage lets you know that they're there, but also tells you maybe how many there are there, but it doesn't really do much damage otherwise. Those adults lay eggs at the base of the plant, the larvae come out of the eggs and, and feed on the tubers, and that's where we are. As I mentioned, all of the damage that you've, you'll notice is usually um, noticed long after the pests have gone. So there isn't anything you can really do other than be aware of what caused it and what might be done in the next year. And management of these two pests is challenging. You can rotate crops or maybe use varieties that mature at times when the peak populations are different. Um, you might also try to exclude the adults of tuber flea beetle. For uh, wireworms you maybe try to bait them away but it can be really challenging but the idea here is just to give you an indication of what's causing what pest and at least you know what's, what the problem is.